Hello everybody, I'm Michael and today I am back with my ranked ladder climb. In the first game we lost one and or first episode, I keep saying game, sorry. In the first episode we lost one game and won a game and last episode we won two games. So it's going off pretty well. We are now up to bronze tier 3. It's going to be a slow grind up to get to as high as I possibly can, but I'm really excited to do it. So let's go ahead and see what this first game has in store for us here. Alright, let's see. Come on. I am pretty impressed by matchmaking in this game. When this first came out, I was sure matchmaking would be, I mean, upwards of minutes. But, I mean, the longest I think I've ever had to wait is maybe a minute or two. Uh, I don't know about this. Because I don't have any creatures. Now I'm going to have to mulligan. And I'm very glad I did. This is perfect. We got the one-drop creature... I'm gonna get rid of Scorcher, cause, I mean, it's a pretty good card, but, yeah, you can go to the bottom. It definitely doesn't help out a whole lot until later game, and I really hope to end the games before they get to late game. Cause that is the one area where mono red decks kinda fall short, is late game against control. Alright, let's see who we have here. Okay, we yeah. got Hmm. Definitely glad we got that. We got Cavaclade. Next turn I can go into Chandra. And then I'll be able to start using her little elementals to just start dealing crazy damage every turn. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I mulliganed. This is kind of the perfect hand. Come on. I know you got something to play there. Oh, there we go. There's his land drop. And perfect. He played something, so he has no mana for countering. That's all I could ever ask for. What does this do? Uh, okay, I'm... I don't know what this deck is. Maybe it's Simic? That's a... Adapting is kind of a Simic thing. I don't know if I've ever heard that first voice line before, but that's pretty neat. And next turn I'm gonna shock his... I don't want to attack because he can block and kill my firebrand, but I don't want that to happen. And I guess I also keep a blocker up against his familiar come on just take the damage hmm I guess you guys have been seeing them for all the videos, but I've been using these kind of gruel sleeves from Ravnica Allegiance. I just think they look awesome. Green's probably my favorite color, and that just bright green is just awesome looking to me. Uh, okay, that's fine. But yeah, I really like these card sleeves. I do think it's cool that you can now buy card sleeves. I mean, I guess it just adds more kind of pay to win stuff but magic's always been kind of like that because you have to buy cards and able to play so i guess it's fine it's only cosmetic it doesn't affect your game from buying them i just really like the look of them they just are incredible looking ghoul is not my favorite guild i don't really know what it is maybe simic is my favorite but just that lime green is awesome uh yeah i'm gonna block that And shock that. Cool. And then we're going to go 10th Street. Huh. I wonder if he has a counter target creature spell card. Because it definitely didn't do this whole waiting thing whenever I played shock. It just kind of instantly happened. Oh, yep. Okay, that's that's fine because its effect didn't go off. Okay, 
I'll I'll let him counter my one ones all day. That's fine with me. I just feel like new Chandra lines. Pretty cool. All right. So far, this game is going a lot better than some of the other ones for me. We're still at full life. He's kind of hanging on there. Cool. Uh, I'll take that. It'd be nice to draw into some more interesting things, but for now, I guess this works. I'll take being able to do four damage to him every turn easily. And there's the there's two. Okay. Yep, I can keep this up all day. Let's see. I guess I could cast Shock with Chandra. So I guess I could kill him next turn. I might do that if he doesn't do anything crazy. Oh, okay, but he did Growth Chamber Guardian. Yeah, that's getting shocked. Sorry, dude. Okay, now I can't kill him next turn, but that's okay. I'll just do my normal stuff here. There go my elementals. We're going to do an all attack there. Alright, I'm down to three life. Oh, I guess I couldn't have killed him that turn, because... Oh, okay, well, there we go. And that is our first game. We have a nice win there to start off the episode. Unfortunately, it's imp we can't get to rank two this episode, but we can definitely get close. Uh, there's another hundred coins. Always good. Let's see. Let's go ahead and jump into the second game of the episode. Okay. Hopefully this works out just like that last one. I don't really know. Oh, they have a Chandra emblem. Ooh. I definitely think I like the younger Chandra art. I just think it looks cooler than the kind of older one. I just... I, that little fire dragon going around her is really cool. Alright. I'm going to keep that. I don't have Cavaclade, but I do have... A couple one-drop creatures, and I also have Chandra, which is pretty important. Okay. Now I have enough mana to do Chandra. Get her out there early. Let's see, what is... Oh, those are cool card sleeves. I don't know if you can just get those, or those are special ones, but uh, that's neat. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And let's do all attack. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do light up the stage. Gives us kind of a little bit of bonus card draw. Oh, okay. That's fine. I'll let him do counter spells. Hmm. Not a hundred percent sure what this is. Oh, but they've bought the little battle pass thing. Okay, I'll let him use removal on that, that's fine. Uh, he only has one mana, and... Let's just go ahead and try to play Chandra. Hope for the best. Nice! Okay, it didn't get countered. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Send them all into attack. There we go. Nice. Yeah, next turn I'll probably do light up- or try to do light up the stage again. Them countering that is kind of perfect for me, because that means they're burning them on... Oh. That's annoying. Okay. That's fine, though. Just go ahead and go to combat. Get my attackers. He has no mana, so we'll go ahead and do light up the stage. In theory, I could get another Chandra, but that's not going to happen. That's fine. Do 10 Street. I'll go ahead and do Shock. Just straight up. Okay, cool. I still don't... Ooh, okay. Maybe I should have saved that spark. Yeah, but that's fine. Oh, that's a cool animation. Ooh, this is kind of concerning me. Oh, there's no point in... 
Yeah, we'll spend the one mana to do his little ability. It doesn't have defender, right? Okay, cool. Eventually just chip away at him. Hopefully I can draw a spark. That'd be perfect. And we got three plus two. That's its nice five defense there. Mm, that's fine. I don't think I've ever seen this card before. I think that's the Ravnica Allegiance symbol there. I'm not 100% sure about what all of the little set symbols are, except for, obviously, we have ones like... I guess I don't even have... No, because that's Ravnica Allegiance. What is this? Maybe that's just Rav Guilds of Ravnica? I'm not sure. Huh. Ow. Okay. It's kind of annoying. I'll have to order twenty. Okay, that's fine. I'll discard Let's the mountain. Up in there. If it has one or oh, I'm gonna take two damage, aren't I? Yep. Struggling. That's annoying. Good. Okay, why well, I'm gonna? Uh, I'm not sure what to do here. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill that off because that's really annoying. And then we're gonna all attack here. I'll do light up the stage for spectacle. Uh, I'll play that. Okay, and he doesn't know what I have, so that's fine. Next turn, I can kill that, and then I still have 10 straight up on my side, and he has nothing left. Okay, that's. Oh, Varaska, that's annoying. Uh, what is this? Counter target spell. Hmm. I just need to make sure that he has less than three mana at the end of this turn. Hopefully he plays Braska's content. Yay, thank you. And you did it on the one that I wanted you to do it on. Perfect. Oh, that's so nice of you. And now you have no mana. Oh, that just worked out perfectly for me. Okay. Well, first of all, we do this. He just has to sit there and watch it happen because he can't do anything. He has no mana. There we go. Go ahead and get... Uh, okay, that's fine. It's still going to be there, but I'm going to do Cabot Blade before he can counter it. Because I know he still has that counter. Huh, this is interesting. I'm not going to attack. I want to keep this lightning strike up for whenever his bat comes back up, which it will be soon. Okay. Honestly, if I draw something interesting, I'm just going to... Oh, okay, well, here comes that again. That's annoying. Can, can I... Oh, I can't draw anything. Oh, no. Please say you don't have something really scary to use right now. That's just a really good card. There's nothing else you could really do to get rid of it, because it's exiled or die. Okay. Uh, yeah, this game is not looking great for me. It just has so much power that I can't get rid of. Or I can, but it'll just come back at least. Okay, my turn. Let's see what we got. And... I got one more turn. We'll just play it through, see what happens. Normally I'd concede, but there's a very, very small chance that I could draw a Chandra or something that would save me right now, because I do have nine mana. But I, I very highly doubt that I'll get anything crazy. Yep, do your four damage. That's fine. Oh, and he'll just be able to counter Chandra anyway, won't he? Because he has that. But maybe if I do this first, I'll kind of bait it out. But I guess this all depends on getting a random draw, too. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's not what I needed. Alright, good game. Alright, so we are still at bronze tier 3 with 2 out of our 6 progress bars. 
Unfortunately, we do not have a pack to open at the end of this episode, but if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe as well as comment any questions or anything you may have, and I'll see you later.